Hello guys! Today, we're going to talk about the fuel consumption of the Dominar 400. And later, we'll show you how we did it. Let's get it on! First, we filled the tank to the brim and we recorded the odometer reading. This is what we call the R1. Second, we used the bike in the city and in the highway. Third, we used the bike normally, no tipid mode. And I'm heavy on the throttle. Fourth, 40% of the time, I have my wife as my back ride. <laughs> Fifth, we filled it up again and noted how many liters we added. Then we recorded the second odometer reading or what we call the R2. Now's the time to do the hardest part. We'll do the math. I know you can do it. <laughs> so, here's the math. The second odometer reading minus the first odometer reading, of course it should be in kilometers, and then we divided it to how many liters of gas was used. So, that's the fuel consumption. For our sample computation, we had our second reading which is 293.7 and subtracted it to the first reading which is 97.9 km. Divided it to 5.04 liters which was added, uh, it would turn out to be 141.8 km divided by 5.04 liters and the answer would be 28.13 km per liter. So guys, now I think you're wondering, What's our fuel consumption? So here it is. The first try, it was 16 kilometers per liter. And then on the second try, it was 28. And then the third, it was 22. And then the fourth time we tried it, it's also 22 kilometers per liter. So what can we say about this? Uh, the Dominar 400 is no scooter. It consumes a lot more fuel than scooters. But for us, it's okay because the power is good, the speed is good, so this consumption is good. We hope you learned something from us. Thank you for watching. Till next time. Please like and subscribe. Bye!